Uh, so I want to present our results in uh, Russian Quantum Center and uh, our uh, startup or spin-off from Russian Quantum Center company Curate, which should commercialize uh, our results. What is the uh, Russian Quantum Center? It's rather a new organization. It has been established in 2012. Uh, the first lab started to build, uh, and I joined this uh, the Russian Quantum Center uh, in, in the end of 2012 uh, in the lab of uh, Alex Lvovsky. And uh, uh, I had a great two years of uh, postdoc study. And then, uh, when it has became a time of uh, making a next postdoc, our director said, uh, uh, let's have a, our own QKD project. And I said, why not? And asked, when should we have our uh, QKD? And he said, preferably yesterday, but uh, you have at least um, two or two and a half years. Right now, Quantum Center is uh, it's just a big organization uh, for Quantum Center. It's has 10 scientific groups, uh, 140 uh, researchers. Uh, we have uh, both fundamental and applied research. And uh, so as uh, we had started, uh, had to start very uh, fast, we started from prototyping. And uh, we based our prototype on maximally, uh, maximum simple uh, solutions like uh, national instruments, cards, uh, uh, and uh, uh, easy electronics and we made a demonstration of uh, quantum key distribution between two bank offices uh, one of the uh, uh, one of those who are in the very beginning of uh, Russian quantum center Sergei Belousov uh, the head of uh, CEO of Acronis company and also one of the stakeholders of ID Quantique said that within the lab it, you will achieve it easily, but when you go to outside, when you go to real lines, it will be much more compli uh, complicated. But eventually we succeed. We, we have a 30 kilometer uh, di uh, key distribution distance and uh, prototype operating at 10 megahertz and have 0 0.5 kilobits per second of secret key. <clears throat> and when we uh, looked at our prototype, we understood that it's itself a good, pro a good, can be a good commercial product because uh, we have put a modular structure, so we can put um, la uh, several lasers, we can put uh, several uh, modulators, uh, phase modulators, amplitude modulators, and we can rebuild it uh, very rapidly. And uh, that's what people need in research. Uh, <coughs> it's very nice when you have uh, resources and time to build, to build a big lab with lots of optics, but uh, if uh, you need to make a fast research with fast results, such a modular system, uh, fast, uh, um, easy rebuild, uh, in easy in rebuilding, and guided by a lab view, instrument which uh, is easy to study for students for PhD students you can make it make it very fast so we made it as easy as possible easy access to all electronics optics uh, open source uh, code so everybody can change uh, the code in uh, love you code uh, just in hundred percent and uh, we, we are going to make also a student student application, make a video materials so that uh, undergraduate students can study with this device. Uh, but not only only university uh, system. We also uh, uh, what do we need? We also received uh, money from uh, Russian uh, Ministry of Education of Science uh, in Russia and from uh, Bank uh, Gazprom Bank, and uh, our 
our goal is to build a commercial QKD device for bank application. And uh, as soon as the most expensive part of QKD is a single photon detector, we also aim to build our own single photon detector and it also can be a, uh, be a product itself. Uh, sorry. So, our, <coughs> our commercial device will have a 300 MHz pulse repetition rate and once again it's, uh, it will have a plug and play uh, optical scheme BB84 plus deco state it will be 4 uh, uh, U rack size and uh, at 25 km where we expect some of about uh, 100 kilobit per second and uh, ultimate distance about uh, 100 km we tested all the um, individual components we tested separately electronics, optics uh, uh, and now our goal is to construct it into one uh, unit and it will be during the 2017 but the problem is that we are using a plug-and-play optical scheme and it's very complicated uh, it becomes very complicated when you increase the pulse repetition rate and we see that uh, when you operate at 300 MHz the pulse repetition rate you should uh, apply your, the voltage to your phase modulators at the twice faster uh, <coughs> speed and that, that's not really good and we'll, we started to look what other uh, options do we have look for some original uh, one-way optical scheme and we started to look at polarization uh, honestly the polarization considered to be not uh, ideal case for uh, fiber channel but if you look at uh, experiments which are published, uh, we see that there are a lot of uh, other optical schemes which are sensitive uh, for polarization. For example, the uh, well-known measurement device independent quantum key distribution requires polarization stabilization. Every change in, in uh, every difference in, in polarization of incoming uh, photons will inevitably cause errors. Moreover, the imbalance, imbalanced uh, Alexander interferometers require uh, polarization stabilization or doubling uh, of, uh, of the phase modulators. Uh, so how can we prepare polarization states? The first and the obvious solution is to use four lasers and to make a system of mirrors or um, beam splitters to gather it in one but it has a uh, problem of the distinguishability of the uh, laser pulses uh, nevertheless uh, how, how well do you perform this uh, indistinguishability check you cannot guarantee that after some time it will uh, after some evolution of the system it can diverge so we looked at the commercially available uh, fiber-based uh, phase modulator. You can buy the one from EUSpace, but its uh, speed is somewhat about um, one several megahertz. You can buy a, a, a piezo driven phase modulator, but it's even slower, and it's good for. For, to recover polarization after the line, but it's not good for uh, modulation. But you also can take a pocket cell. It's uh, it was, it's not an original idea. It was already used in free space, but the voltage 300 volt voltage is not a good for uh, QQD applications. And there is also a phase modulator which is well-known uh, device in uh, QKD and it's a very good, fast, low voltage, convenient and commercially available focus cell so 
You are not the first who proposed this idea, so no. But uh, using a phase modulator, you should prepare not the uh, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal states. You should uh, prepare diagonal plus circular, counter circle, and circular uh, states. That means that you put an, uh, a two components of polarization, horizontal and vertical, on the input. And if you put, uh, apply no voltage, you have you have a diagonal state and the output. Then you apply some voltage, and you have a lambda over four phase shift between two, these two uh, components, and this uh, it's a circular state. Then you continue increase your voltage, and you have lambda over, over two plate which rotates uh, your state at 90 degree and then one more voltage increase and you have counter circular state so you prepare for maximum uh, uh, maximum uh, the, the four BB84 state but uh, in the other <coughs> in the other way the only, there are two main problems of Uh, phase modulator application. First of all, it can have a, a polarization dependent loss, and if you put a diagonal state and in the input, it will change somehow at the output. But it's not, it's, it's not the biggest problem. The, hard, the biggest problem is polarization mode dispersion. dispersion. So if you have a short laser pulse, the difference uh, in time between uh, vertical and horizontal components uh, makes uh, a polarization drift within a pulse and that's, that's not good, that will cause an error how to solve this problem? how is it usually solved in, in uh, ordinary optical applications? <coughs> so somebody should put a, a compensation crystal which will be rotated to 90 degree and once again if you have a uh, time shift between two components it will make uh, <coughs> or, um, the compensating time shift and the components will be once again on the output at the same time domain the best way is to use the same phase modulator but rotated to 90 degree Uh, this is a good idea, but it's a rather expensive solution to have an Alice side on, on the center two phase modulators. But uh, we propose to put this phase modulator not on Alice but on, on both sides, and uh, it will automatically compensate all, all uh, uh, polarization dependent dispersion. But At the same time, it is an option for active uh, basis choice. So you don't need uh, four uh, detectors for passive basis choice, like in uh, most free space uh, devices. You need just two detectors, so you twice decrease, uh, twice decrease the price of the bulk device. And uh, we managed to stabilize this system with uh, a signal for, from single photon detector. <coughs> so we take uh, all eight combination of uh, Alice and Bob uh, voltage applied to, uh, phase, uh, to the phase modulator and look at the statistics. Of course, for uh, tuning pulses, we increase slightly an amplitude. Uh, and using this statistic we tune these three phase uh, polarization controllers uh, <coughs> first one should set a diagonal polarization in the input of the first phase modulator second should compensate the drift in, in the uh, quantum channel and the third one uh, should rotate uh, an output state at 45 degree to To, be, to match the output polarization beam splitter. Uh, there are also uh, constraints on, its, on the voltage applied, uh, which helps us. 
And now we have uh, and now we have very stable setup which can work for uh, hours and uh, it's tuning time about 20% uh, of time and 80% of time it works on key generation. Of course we can simplify the system. It is uh, uh, <coughs> We can put lambda over two uh, a bulk optics uh, on the Alice and Bob side here uh, before the first phase modulator, after the, f the second phase modulator. And if it's not convenient, we are trying we're trying now to splice the fiber exactly 45 degree. Uh, it's not completely a fulfilled task, but uh, I think that it's, it would not take much effort. So we used our modular system to make a fast prototyping of uh, our polarization scheme and it has taken uh, two, uh, one PhD student and one master student a uh, few months to run it uh, from the idea to the realization. Here on the picture you see different combinations of Alice and Bob voltage applied so Alice can, uh, Bob can apply zero and uh, Fiber and one, two, three, uh, and uh, three lambda over four uh, voltage, and LS choose one of the four BB84 states, and we have very good interference result in classics, and we have we see the good operation in quantum case. We tested it on a 50 kilometer line, and uh, we can. Uh, fix uh, a quantum bit rate below 5% and in this case we operate 8% of time because there is a lot of uh, a lot of work to be done so we need to reduce the uh, number of controllers we need to implement decoy state to increase the mean photon number and of course we should uh, put it on our main device and to run it on not on shorty on no not on 300 MHz, but on gigahertz uh, pulse repetition rate and that's a time when we need our uh, own single photon detector which uh, we have developed now it's optimized at 300 MHz but all the solutions uh, is enough to operate at gigahertz uh, pulse, repeat, uh, pulse repetition rate the uh, width of the signal window uh, is 400 pixels. The other thing we are uh, proud of is that uh, we managed to make uh, very nice uh, uh, error correction protocols, which uh, uh, which is upgrade of low density parity check. It's our uh, theoretical subgroup, and it's 10% uh, uh, more efficiency than. Uh, benchmarks and uh, uh, takes less communication resources <coughs> and the next stage is uh, uh, application putting it to the real life so in Russia the data encryption is a licensed uh, procedure and we don't want to make a data encryption we want to make only key uh, quantum key generation and there are a lot of companies who are, who are making data encryption. To make this uh, implementation, we build a, um, a special libraries which we provide to uh, our key consumers, and they uh, implement with uh, IS or in Russia it's uh, our own standard Ghost, uh, and can use the key in the way they like, whether it's uh, one type part or some fast ex uh, fast refresh of master key. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Let to answer your questions.
efficiency of error correction. So what do you mean by patient efficiency and efficiency? Okay. Uh, by efficiency, I mean the, the key uh, consumption. So the, there are part of uh, the key which is lost uh, above the, um, the Shannon limit. And uh, communication resources is just number of uh, bits you, ex Alice and Bob, exchange uh, in the process of uh, error correction. Is it published anywhere that we can read? Uh, it's already on archive, but and it reads uh, on uh, um, under consideration in, in the journal, so under review. Let's take a coffee break for 20 minutes. Let's thank all the speakers in the session.